Okay, today is the 35th day of the Sefira. It's called Machusha Behoid. So we're going to speak a little bit more about Hoida. It's also in the Zohar Kodesh, it says that it's the two weeks now. We have two weeks left before the big day of Matan because it's Tuesday night is Shavuos night. And the Ha'oras, that means inspiration, connection, whatever is downloaded, is available to be downloaded on Shavuos, begins already now. So I think it's very appropriate. We haven't discussed enough about what's called the 48 ways, 48 kinyanim. The acquisition, was just speaking about a kinyan of, ac- of acquiring different acquisitions of traits that we need to have and acquire before Matan That's the preparation that Rizal says is the Ikka preparation. You can't really come and receive Torah and download the available downloads without preparing. So today is called Oyev Es HaToychachas Loving Toychachas Now literally to translate the word Toychachas is a quite interesting word. Generally I think they, in English they write rebuke. But if you look at Rashi when he explains the word Toychacha Voichach Avraham different places he explains that it means clarification and it really makes a big difference. Rav Neuch Warmbuk Zichon Vach has a beautiful sefer. I mean, he had these amazing classes called the 48 Ways. So in Oyvetatechachos, he says that you find that people are almost, are, they're petrified. And they can, the second they hear the word rebuke and critique, it's something that immediately we put up our defenses. And it's true, especially if you translate the word as rebuke and and critique, it sounds, this is today, and it's, uh, it's almost uh, a common thing to find in Shul. That that's what's called there. You start uh, making a comment to someone, they announce it's a non judgmental zone. <laughs> non judgmental zone. And in a way, it's a beautiful thing, but it many times actually takes away from something also beautiful. And the reason for that is the following Oyvetas Esatoy Chochos is a trait, loving. Rebuke. So I wouldn't say rebuke, I would say clarification. And even critique, technically, Rav Nech said like this, he said, what do you mean? You see that a person that's a CEO of a company, you own a company, they pay plenty of money, thousands of dollars, for someone to come and give some critique and tell the business how it's losing money here and how if it only did this. And in, and in many, many places, businesses... They have like a suggestion box and even a critique box. And yet, when it comes to the most important business that we have, which is our spiritual growth, if someone comes with a uh, critique, the defenses go up. It all is, it's an emergency situation and we get very, 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 very tense. So the answer to that is yes, it does. It's very difficult to be oyvesatechachas. You know, the translation of Eftesatechos can be misunderstood to mean someone who loves giving the rebuke. The giving of the rebuke is not what we're talking about. It's the receiving. And if a person would take his life seriously and say, wait a minute, I'm a business. I'm a CEO of my company. I'm a CEO of my growth and my spirituality. And spirituality is worth more than all the money in the world if I could pay someone to make sure that my business is a profitable business. And now I'm able to fix one trait which is worth more money than all the world and all the, all every all the, all the money in the world. Of course I would do it, but it's not easy, and it comes probably with a lot of guidelines, like the Rambam says, is that toichacha has to come with love. In fact, they say, and this is definitely definitely very important, especially when it comes to speaking to the kids, and Allah has come and come so much more so when it comes to the wife or the spouse. That it should be with first ten. I would say it's a little bit of a, an exaggeration. You give three compliments to every critique. You give three compliments to every critique that you say to your child. And, uh, and as our victim as said, when it comes to your son-in-laws and your and your in-laws, then you keep your mouth totally shut. He used to say, when it comes to your son-in-law, I don't know if anyone's going to agree to this. Is keep your mouth, keep your pocket open and your mouth shut. <laughs> that was. His expression, but in in truth, anyone that deals with it knows it's much safer. But getting back to us, if we want to prepare for Matan Teira, it's worthwhile to take one friend, 
one friend that you are not going to be too embarrassed and even pay him once a week to really give you positive critique where he thinks that you could grow more. You could even give him five, this is a suggestion of Nehru say he's give him five different topics and say, what do you think about these five topics? Where can I improve? And if a person does that, that's Oivet Estat Toichachas. That's guaranteed growth. Yes, there's a high level. Is if someone says something to you, so even if you didn't ask him, it's also an opportunity for growth. And if we would stop for a second and say, okay, you know what? Let's see if that statement was said to someone else. What would that person, how would I like that person to react? I would analyze and I would say, you know what? Why do you say this? I have a friend. And this is something that applies so much today, especially when it comes to the laws of Lashon Har, which I think is the greatest, greatest, I don't know, what I think, it's what Chazal say, is the most powerful and damaging um, you, power that we have it with, uh, with us. But I find, and I've seen it so much, so, so common, and I just had it with someone, where there was a, a person in the community that was doing something, and already it got to a point where people knew about it. And it's very hard to do what's called in, in, the, in the laws of Lashon not to be Mechabah. It's easy to say, I'm not Mechabah. But eventually what it happens is it reframes your mind and you start thinking this way. So the way to fix that, there's two options. You tell the person that just told you something so negative about your friend, listen, you just told me something very negative. I can't be Mechabah this, but what does that mean? That means that either you're going to go now and tell my, tell my friend, and tell him that you love him, and that's the reason why you're telling him. And if you don't, then I will. I will tell the person, you know, this is what I heard about you, and I know it's probably not true, because I know you differently. And I, it, I, it just happened with someone that for a year people were saying things about, and finally I convinced someone to call him, and he told me afterwards, he said, I was so happy that finally a friend, a real friend, came over and said, you know what, this is what... They're saying about you, and I know it's not true. And I would, and at least I want you to clarify. So this is a matana. It's probably the most difficult present, but when it comes with love, and care and concern, it's something so precious. That's all.